welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and this is Richard and I am once again in the Bentley bunker and once again out of everything that I decided I was going to get rid of I had to go into that box and dig some stuff out so uh, well three years ago I did a video on making a floating uh, fish net container and uh, I can't find it I I mean I know where the video is at I can't find the actual net I can't find it I have no idea where it's at so I've decided I'm going to make another one and uh, this time I'm actually going to do the video showing you uh, how to do it it's it's quite simple quite easy uh, it's three items and all three of them come from the Dollar Tree uh, the first item is one of these mesh laundry bags the second item is here somewhere I promise you it is the second item some zip ties and the third item a pool noodle now I originally purchased like I don't know 18 or 20 of these I was gonna build a bed out of them like a, a mattress but uh, I've decided I'm, I might not do that I don't know I've had these sitting in here for I don't know, a couple months now anyway we are going to make a floating fish net fish trap uh, not not a trap a container something you can put your bait fish in or you can put the fish that you catch in and let it sit out and it'll float you can uh, uh, if you're waiting you can carry it along with you and drag it along with you and it'll it'll float on the water if you're in a boat you know that sort of thing so we're going to take out the bag that's a nice look at the size of that bag that's a fantastically sized bag all right which is great it's even got a nice little tag here that we can tie cordage to and either secure it onto the lot um, onto the shore or keep it along with us as we're walking the creek or something of that nature so all we're going to do in a nutshell is around the top of this net I am going to zip tie this noodle like so so let's begin I hope I have enough of zip ties if not I'm sure I can go out there and find some more like I said the uh, this net and these zip ties were all in the uh, box that I was going to get rid of stuff and again every time every time I get ready to get rid of something or try to get rid of it I find a need or a want for it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this first section on just like so right now I'm gonna leave them loose until I figure out uh, exactly how many I'm gonna need and how tight I want to make them and that sort of thing put one on the top here like so so I'll just go through here and just add a few more wherever it looks like there's needed I'm sure they're little snug Okay. 
like I said, I just tighten this up just a tad bit, just like that. And I have one, let's see, it looks like around five, five more, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. Figure why not. simple pretty easy just takes three items from the Dollar Tree some zip ties one of these nets laundry nets and a pool noodle since I have two more I might as well use them let's see here let's put one right here And the last one, let's see, where should we put the last one? Just, I guess we'll throw it right, we'll throw it right here. There we are. So I'm going to go ahead and put a small little temporary knot in that right there. I'm going to go ahead and clip off all of these excess pieces of zip tie. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Used 15 zip ties, and you know why I used 15 zip ties? Because that pack had 15 zip ties in it. If it had 20, I'd have used 20 of them. Anyway, there we go. So now, We'll untie this here real quick. There we go. Now we don't have to have it that deep. I mean we can put a knot in it if we want it to, you know, just here. But basically all it is is this sits in the water and floats. And here we go. Here's a little thing here we can attach some cordage to so that we can maintain control of where it is and where it goes. But this just sits in the water, it floats right here, and when you, uh, let's say we're using it for uh, minnows, then when we're ready for another minnow, we just stick our hand in here, into the water, grab our minnow, pull it out. If we're using this to actually keep fish that we're going to keep and, and use later, we catch a fish, plop it right in there, and it's got all this space to swim around in the water. 
and uh, which also if you are fishing and you're keeping the fish try not to keep them on stringers near you while you're fishing because what happens is that fish let off a a uh, a signal that they're in danger and it keeps the other fish from coming around so it actually could hamper you from fishing catching fish uh, with something like this you toss them in the net you know they've got all this room to swim around and uh, they, they don't feel as freaked out so so anyway this is my portable floating fish net again it's the second time I've had to make that I made one three years ago I did a video on it I can't find the net anywhere I have no idea what happened to it or what I did with it but uh, I do plan on taking this out and using this so uh, everybody put a comment down below and let me know what you think uh, make sure that you subscribe I would appreciate that you subscribe to my channel uh, comment as often as much as you'd like good bad or indifferent thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors even if it's your own backyard